welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be talking about my Denman brush technique to define my curls. So let's first talk about what Denman brush I use. The one that I have is the D4 Original Styler. This guy features nine rows to help clump and define your curls. Some people choose to take out a few rows, others don't. I've personally tried both and my favorite is using all nine rows. The actual bristles of the brush are very firm yet slightly flexible and I find it's the perfect feel for a good defining brush. And now let's get to styling. So the first thing I will do once I get out of the shower is I will actually just brush my hair through with the Denman brush with no product. I do this because I like to have a nice brushed through foundation for any products I will be applying afterwards. I find it just gives a nice base for my hair to start with. I'll do this of course on my left and then the same thing on the right. Also give the back of my head a quick brush through just to make sure I don't have any weird pieces going any other weird direction and I will give myself my center part. My hair is basically trained to be in the center so it's super easy with the Denman brush. Now I'm just gonna spray my hair with water to start applying my products. I want a good wet base before I apply any products. I find the Denman brush on my hair works best with pretty soaking wet hair so I like to make sure that my hair is soaking wet throughout the entire process. Next, once I've finished saturating my hair with water, I'm going to apply my curl cream of choice. I just applied one styling product for this specific routine, but if I apply a leave-in and a curl cream and a mousse or anything like that, I will brush through my hair with the Denman in between each product I use. So now I'm just going to brush through my hair after using that curl cream. I like to take my time and really make sure that the product is evenly distributed through my hair. Also start brushing my hair away from my scalp. I find this helps promote volume and starts getting my ringlets to curl closest to my roots. Now I'm going to section my hair into two sections, the top and the bottom, and good job Bella, you got your cream that was on your forehead for way too long off your face. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm just going to put half of my hair up and then leave the rest down. All right, and now I'm gonna grab my Denman brush, and first I'm gonna take one of those sections and brush it through first. Then I'm gonna split that section into two sections. And once I've done that, I'm gonna give that little section one quick brush through. I'm gonna get up close and personal so you guys can really see what I'm doing. So now I'm gonna start with the bristles facing towards my back. Then I'm going to twist the brush so the bristles are now facing the front and pull my hair through. As I'm pulling my hair through, I'll actually twist the brush so that the bristles are then facing the side of my face. Then I will pull it all the way through the end of my hair. Now I'm going to take that section and give it a nice jiggle. Once I've shaken it about a little bit, I'm going to give it a good scrunch to help promote those beautiful juicy ringlets. And I'm going to do the same thing on the section right below it pulling it through, twisting, and then giving it a shake and scrunching. perfectly defined hydrated ringlets. Those are gonna dry amazing. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on that bottom section on the other side. Now that 
I'm done with the bottom, I'm going to untie the top section of my hair and put it down. The first thing I do when I do the top section is the back sort of crown area of my head. I like to pull it up and away from my face. Yes, that is the top of my head. And I will try to bend down so you can see a little bit, but I will brush it through first like I do with all my sections. For some reason, this always gets a little bit tangled when I put it up. And once it's done getting detangled, I will split that section in two. I will take that back section and brush it up and towards the back of my head. So the bristles will be facing towards my face at first and then I will flip it up and out so that they're facing towards my back and pull it through, twist a bit and then shake and scrunch. And then I will do the exact same thing on that other back section. So now I'm going to start with the sides of my heads. I like to take a pretty large vertical section and brush it through. I like to make sure I'm brushing it up and away from my head and do the same technique that I would be doing on the bottom of my head, having the bristles face towards my back, flip it, and then twist as I'm brushing it through. And I always give each section a good scrunch after running it through with the brush. Now for the front section right in front of my face, I always make sure that I'm curling it up and out of my face because that's the way my curls naturally curl. And now I'm going to be doing the exact same thing on the other side of my head. Once I've finished defining all of my head, I like to go in with a little bit more of my final product just to give my curls that last little bit of hold and I give my hair what I like to call the final scrunch. I scrunch in all different directions to really lock those curl clumps in place. And finally, I'm done styling. I'll be back in a sec with my dry results. These are my finished results, you guys. I have voluminous, defined, and bouncy curl clumps. I'm going to pick the back of my head and the sides and give it a good, nice shake for some extra volume. And that's it, I'm done. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. A lot of you guys have asked about my Deadman brush technique, so I'm so happy to finally be posting it. As always, if you have any questions, comments, all that jazz, leave it down in the comments below. See you in the next one. Bye!